What is wrong with my hairs? Well, you know. You will say, what does a uh, guitar play also in their um, daily life? I guess some people thought that I just practice during my day and there is nothing else to do. There is a ton of things to do, actually. And slowly, slowly, I'm going to show you everything. As you can tell, in my studio, I have like uh, lots of electronics. I have the computer, the desk, the monitors. I have the, all these cables I have back there, the setup for the camera. I have cables running everywhere. Well hidden because my cable management is spot on. Well, not really spot on, but it's quite nice. I don't like to see mess. But because it gets really dry in here in winter, I have, you see back here, this is a humidifier. It's just a cheap humidifier from Amazon. Um, it does the job, but now that it's getting really, really cold, I don't remember actually, it was a long time since uh, winter in the Netherlands was that cold. Uh, it's a little bit struggling and I zap myself with everything. You will not imagine when I have to record with this camera back there and I have the microphone running here until the interface. I don't know what's up with electricity, but I get zapped with the camera every single time and I'm very afraid that I'm going to kill the something because, you know, electricity and uh, computer stuff, not really great couple. So let me show you the plan. So this is my computer and I have the floor here, um, it's all carpet, okay? It's not ideal for not having electrostatic, actually it's really bad, but I cannot help it. I'm not gonna change the floor and I just can't right now. Um, so my plan is to put a wooden base on the computer so that it wouldn't be sitting right on the carpet so that there is more isolation. And so guess what? I went to the store that I usually go when I have to remake things at home and I just realized that they don't let you enter in the store anymore, nothing. You have to order everything online and then you have to pick it up there. Which is kind of sucks because um, they had the section with wood pieces and everything. You could even use the tools that they had in there. Um, so that was really, really handy. So I will have to think of a plan B. I was extremely lazy actually to order anything online and check around and everything and then have to go back again to pick it up because it was seriously since November, now it's uh, February, that I didn't go out of home. And <laughs> I don't miss it somehow, I'm extremely lazy to go out of home right now. And I got lucky, I found randomly here at home some piece of wood. Now I just need to cut it and that might do the job. Luckily for me, <laughs> oops, <laughs> I also have a saw to which I will cut this wood, so pray for my fingers. Now the big question for me, do I do that outside when it's feeling minus 16? Or I do it inside and I make a mess, like a huge mess, which I don't want. Let's go. Notice the perfection and straightness of the cut, eh? Not bad. Not bad for somebody who has zero experience with those things. Now time to sand it down a little and make it nice. After freezing my hands in this crazy cold outside, I got my two little pieces of wood and I also sanded down this part so it's uh, not nasty for the hands. And this will go under the computer and will be kind of placed like this underneath, which will be good because it will give like more room in between for the computer to have to breathe for the air circulation and all those things. Um, and hopefully, hopefully that should um, help a little bit with um, 
electrostatic that I'm experiencing here. And if that doesn't um, do much, I'm still planning to glue in here this um, anti-static mat. And let's see. Let's hope that this already makes a difference because with a humidifier and this, maybe I can control that. I don't know if you can tell, but here in the wood, there are some holes. And it's because this was part of a really, really big panel that I made back in the time before I could afford these nice panels that you can see usually in my studio and these diffusers of Hofa. I made myself the panels with the rock wool and everything. So you can tell I'm a little bit of a handy person. If I have a problem, I just research about it, see how I get this done and I do it. <laughs> And it's actually crazy how my studio used to be before. Actually, this room where I do my tutorials and everything, it has changed so much. Like it transformed, I think, through three different type of studios. When I was learning, I was first putting all the foam and everything, and then I made the panels myself. And before all that was kind of naked, I kind of tried to make something, but it was not really a studio. Maybe that could be an idea for a story time in another vlog. Time to turn off the computer and see if this feed actually work. Well, there we go. Some days are just full of other things rather than music, but it needs to be done. Sometimes it's the studio, some other times it's the computer, some other times it's uh, the website that needs checking. There's always something to do, really. Anyways, I'm back on track with uh, recordings and all this. And you know that I've recorded these two Catalan songs and for some reason, I just hate to work with Logic. Logic is an amazing program, but for me, it's a huge pain in the neck with uh, zooming and just moving around the thing. I, I think I spend a third of the time just zooming in and out because it has a very weird thing. I'm very used to the Premiere that I use to edit these videos. And it's very intuitive because whatever your mouse is, there you zoom in. But in Logic, there is some nonsense that it depends on where the marker is, region is selected. And then sometimes it goes in the beginning, sometimes at the end. I still don't really get it and it's very frustrating for me to actually work with that. So yesterday I've been looking into this um, Studio One. So I think I'm going to be moving to the Studio One. It looks really awesome. Mostly for mastering is something I really, really need. So basically that means that I need to relearn um, the whole ecosystem of the Studio One and everything. I think I'll be watching many tutorials myself on that. But, but I'm happy for this because I think it's a much better program and if only the way it works is different than Logic, I will be already happy because it slows down my work so much. And I hate that I know how to do things, but the program slows me down. Whereas when I edit videos, the more I do it, the faster I get, so the less time I stay on it. But with Logic, it's not like this and it's deeply frustrating me. So I hope you enjoyed this very different type of vlog. I think it's the weirdest vlog I've ever done so far. But nevertheless, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. And I really appreciate all your comments. I will be writing you back as usual. And I'll see you in the next one. By the way, the trick of the wood under the computer seems to be working because I didn't get zapped in two days, even once. And before it was constantly, when I was teaching, I would be like, it would be zapping like crazy. So that seems to work. <laughs>